you know, when you're as content or curious or playful or independent, people are jealous of you. In a way, you can compare yourself to a cat. When you are prowling around, looking for trouble, but you're not really wanting to die, what happens? Cars try to run you off of the road. They try to hit you in the alley. Here you are just being an alley cat. And people want to destroy you. That's more than enough of explanation of what many people are faced with. Just a minute, I am sweating right now. I need to turn on the fan. One moment, please. Oh. 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 Oh, it's so much better. Anyways, this, this particular message has been inspired by uh, one of my YouTube fellows. And, quote, this is what he says. His, he's bathroom money saver, Pierre. And he's been cut down at the knees, like Hillary Clinton for two decades. And he keeps getting back up like Hillary Clinton. And I'm so proud of Hillary Clinton. I'm so proud of Pierre. I'm so proud of Bathroom Money Saver. I'm so proud of everybody that keeps standing up and living their life as an art and doing the best that they can. But this is what Bathroom Money Saver wrote. Quote, I am so glad that you are able to have a voice while so many do not. There are so many wounded scabs just laying around waiting for the next big wind to blow by, then never to be seen again. Now, those words are absolutely, oh, unquote. The saying had a quote, saying, and then unquote. Quote, I am so glad that you are able to have a voice while so many do not. There are so many wounded scabs just laying around waiting for the next big wind to blow by, then never to be seen again, unquote. Okay, I gave it the proper citation. These words are absolutely eternal beauties of an experienced soul. And, you know, there's, there's a, I may have mentioned this before in one of my lectures, but a saying that really always reached me very deeply was when I heard somebody say, never trust anyone who hasn't been through anything. See, people that have been through something and they have paid their dues, they paid their sentence, they made a right, they made a wrong a right, pardon me, there's an evolution to the soul. And no matter how far one can travel with their independence and their voice and their art and their compassion and their empathy for the world, the world will try to run you off of the road and try to hush you, try to make you back down. After it woos you in, then it like, it tries to crash you tries to make you afraid like spiders makes you try to be frightened like spiders this is not a good society I have a problem with it and I'm sure you do too also another thing that will help us really rise above it and to be full with love and to not be judgmental is to know that there are no winners and there are no losers and there's really not a game that we're playing except just hanging out and being in life for the ride and having a really great time. See, there's a lot of evil out there. 
that does not want you to be a messenger. There's a lot of evil out there that does not want you to free the song that is within your heart. You, you, you can't cooperate with that type of negativity. It's just not going to happen. Now, my next illustration, such as with the cat, is this. So warm. This is what all of the hushing you up tries to do. And, and you know, there's there's people that works in the entertainment industry in Los Angeles that think that this is not a good video because my makeup is smeared smearing all over my face. You know, when I say this for all the viewers that are trying to follow the message that I'm giving, but you know, when people are bringing you down, there you go, when people are bringing you down and they're trying to criticize you, such as in the entertainment industry in Los Angeles, I want you to say to them, you don't wipe my ass, right? You don't feed me. And you don't pay my rent. And the fourth thing, or wait, this is the fifth thing, I forget. I lost count on my hand because I'm so into this message. But the last thing is that they don't get to fuck you either. Right? Now these people, they try to woo you in before they hush you up. Okay? And this is what they leave you with after the abuse has been done. And that's just basically is the way it makes you feel as well. Not only a skeleton, but a zombie. Like you're really thinking, well, golly, what happened? Well, I understand the whole idea of fighting for your freedom. We have been fighting for our freedom. We've been fighting for equality. Why can't we just be at peace? You know, that's why people want to die. That's why people want to commit suicide. Can we just give up? You know? And the whole thing out there is that it makes you think you, 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 you can't walk away. It makes you think that you have to stand there. And you have to prove your ground. You know what? I want people to practice walking away. Just turn your back. You know, when you confront people, okay, what they're going to do is they're going to ignore you like you don't exist. And that may really hurt you. There's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of abuse out there. If they can't get what they want after, after pardon me, bleh, after they sized you up, and sniffed around to see what you have, they will ignore you. They're very theft-like. And some of them are running, and I've explained this before maybe in one of my lectures, they're running at a very high, sophisticated level of theft. You don't know they're going to come in and rob the crap out of you. But if it's not physical and material, it could be mental, spiritual, psychological. I want you to know, like Pierre, the bathroom money saver, he talks about in one of his videos in the past, meditation. 
and breathing. And these are very important things because if you don't do that, this is what they do to you. They make you a clown. It's not what you want to be. You don't want to be treated like somebody's muse. You know, like a clown. I woke up this morning, excuse my hair, I know Hollywood's probably, all the agents out there and the talent managers out there that I've talked with, they're probably like, you need to refine your videos before you put them on. They're just not refined. Well, you know what? You didn't buy my webcam and you don't pay for my internet use every day. And you don't pay my rent and you don't feed me. And you certainly don't get to fuck me. So, you know what? You could save your opinion. You know, if people cannot accept people for what and who they are in their artistic exploration or their artistic experimentation, they, then people will be afraid of painting, which they already are. They're afraid of writing poetry. They already are because they've been told by their English teacher they're bad. They've been told by the art world that they, that they can't paint. You know, they've been told by uh, vocal coaches and vocal technicians and critiques and adjudicators on America's Got Talent or American Idol that you don't have what it takes and you don't have a good singing voice. People are so let down and they are told that they have to hush. You know what? Got news for you. They don't. And you don't have to fight them back. You just need to go forward. Because if you think that you have to fight them back, this is what you become, and it's not very attractive. You know, I was wearing a, a something, a, a hairdress, very Hindu, slash Moroccan, slash Armenian. And somebody in the business says, well, you're, and I had this wonderful, elaborate costume. I put money into it and I sang and there's so many positive things to my act. And this talent manager says, you need to keep your hair tucked back into your, into your, uh, your hat. So there was no positive thing that she could say. She's very negative. So, and what it did for many years, and even to this day, it makes me want to fight. You can hear the way I'm talking. There's such tension, you know, and it's just, you know, I relinquish all that power. I don't have to be a pirate, you know, I don't have to be running around like I'm afraid of spiders and people's opinions. You know, I don't have to live in that world. You know, I don't have to say black things to people. You know, if I do, you know, I can move on, but you know, I don't have to take the low road people bully me, I need to take the high road. And I don't, you know, I don't need to be hated because I'm 46 years old and I'm running around like I think I'm cute. You know what? People could screw off. Because between you and me, I'm not going to hush. You know, no one pays my rent. I pay my own rent, right? If you pay your own rent, if you wipe your own ass, you feed your own stomach, you fuck your own self, you masturbate your own self, you know what? People can leave you alone. Even when you're driving that road rage, people could just back off. That's what we want people to do. We want people to just not try to make other people hush. Be your voice.